Hey there, it's Cheryl with Distressed FX, and I thought I would do a phone iPhone edit today in lieu of fall and a couple people asking me about technique. I'm going to be using a few different programs today. I'm going to be doing more heavy editing. So um, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is grab a couple high res textures from my Dropbox. These textures are off my website, distressedtextures.com, and I've been really into the watercolor painterly pack. There's a couple in there that I really like. So basically, Dropbox is where you can store files, and they do not take up room on your phone. And these files are really large, so I do not want to blob up my phone with a whole bunch of them. So I will come in, and I'm going to be uploading them to my phone. Autumn is one that I really like, so I'm going to select that. The top right corner is a little box with an arrow. Click that, and then at the bottom, go to Save Image. So it's now exporting it to my phone. And I'm going to go back and scroll down a little bit and get Evergreen. That's another one I use probably almost daily. Save that. So I'm going to back out of my Dropbox, and first thing I'm going to do is start in a layering program called Union. I'm going to go up to the top, there's these three little bars, click that, select a background which will be your main image, I'm going to be going to your photos, I'm going to be selecting a fall image, the bottom right corner just hit the little green check for OK, come back up to the top left corner. I'm going to be collect, collect, or <clears throat> putting down a texture. So you're going to go to your photos and grab one of the textures that you just downloaded. Okay, I'm going to have to flip this vertical, so I'm taking my two fingers and pulling that out to cover the whole thing. The bottom left corner is two little circles, a light and a dark. Those are your blending modes. You can go ahead and play with the different ones, but multiply and overlay and soft light are pretty much the only three that I ever use. And today I'm going to be using multiply. It's pretty dark, so you have to do some adjustments with it, but I'd rather start this way and be able to lighten it up manually. First thing I'm going to do is go to some of the settings at the top here. You have your opacity. I'm going to lower that a little bit, so I'm just going to move the slider to the right just a little. And then I'm going to bump up the brightness, which is the next little tool. And I think I'm going to leave the rest alone for right now. There's also a temperature one where you could make it cool if you'd like, but I'm going to, I want this to be pretty warm, so I'll keep it there. And First thing I'm going to do is I want to take away a little bit of the texture. So I'm going to go back into my layering mode up at the top left corner and I'm going to do a mask and erase. So I'm going to erase away just a little bit of this texture. I'm going to keep my brush very soft and smaller so I don't erase too much away. It's better to start off light and that way you can work towards what you, where you want to be. So. I'm just going to erase a little bit of the texture away from my main subjects here, which my focal point is the cow, the horizon, and then this gold tree in the background. I'm also going to erase away just a little bit of that texture in the top left corner because it's a little too much for me right now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is save this, I'm going to flatten and export. At this point, you could take it into a couple different programs to do basic editing. Snapseed's one I go to a lot. Um, Art Studio's another one, but I know there's tons out there that, that uh, people use, but these are the two I use the most. I go ahead and go into Art Studio. Go up to the top left corner, File, Import from Photos, and here you're going to have to find your photo on your camera roll. Select it. Now there's all kinds of things that you can do here. You can go up to the top left, adjust. You can adjust the temp and the tint. 
you want, but I'm not going to do that. I want to bump up the saturation just a little bit. Oops. Sorry. There we go. Just, I really want that tree in the center to just pop. I'm going to even go a little bit more in that. Now the rest of it looks too blown out. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go up here, File, Export. I'm going to save it. Save it as a JPEG and export to Photos. I'm going to go back into Union. There's a lot of going back and forth here, but it's worth it in the end. I'm going to go up to the top to New, Background, and I'm going to select the image I saved, and then grab the one where I just blew out the saturation. I'm going to pinch and hold till it catches on. Now I'm going to come in and create a mask layer and erase with a very light eraser. I'm going to go ahead and erase the things that are just completely blown out but I'm going to leave that tree popping gold along with some of the grass. Basically just have focal points where I keep really saturated. And that's it. Now I'm going to save this again. Flatten, export, and save. And to not confuse myself, Oops, I'll come in at this point and go to my photos and I'll delete the one that was blown out and the one that was didn't have that much color. That way I don't get confused. So now I'm going to go into Distressed FX and here I could add another texture. But first I've got to pull in my photo. And I'm going to add charm to this, but I'm going to bump it way down, just so you, there's just a hint of texture there. And then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to come back in and grab some birds on it. Now, I rarely ever use the birds as is. I would probably never just um, leave them where they're fixed like that. I like to move them around and lessen them because I really think they should be subtle. Now I'm going to save it just like that. Got it? So now, guess what? I'm going back into Union. I'm going to get the one without the birds that has a little hint of charm on it. And I'm going to now grab the one with the birds, pinch and pull, Go up to my mask mode, get an eraser, and this one I'm going to make um, the opacity very hard. And I am going to erase all those birds that are caught up in that tree and just leave three real subtle ones right there. I'm going to save this. And I am going to take it in Art Studio one more time. I know you're thinking, this is a lot of work, but you know what? <laughs> I actually love the editing part more than anything. So this is for people that really like to edit. So File, Import. And grab the ones with the one with my three birds. And here I am going to adjust the saturation just a little bit more, just a little bump, and then I'm going to take a dodge and burn tool, and I'm just going to darken up my horizon just a little bit. Keep the size at 100 and the opacity just below the halfway point, and just come in, you're not going to be able to see me do this, but I'm just barely going along the horizon, just to add a little depth. It's very, very subtle. Just darken that up, and then I'm even going to come in at the top and just darken those blown out areas a little bit on the side there. 
that's it. You could go back into Snapseed and sharpen it and play with some more of the adjustment settings, but I think that I am done. I'm going to save it, and now I will upload it to Instagram. If you have any questions, you can email me at stresstextures at gmail.com. You can go to the website, thestresstextures.com. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Flickr, all over the place. Thanks, guys.